Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Minish and welcome to another Minish review. Today I'll be reviewing Flyin. Flyin is a puzzle platformer developed and published by Ankama Studios. The game is currently available on Steam thanks to the green light system. In Flyin you control four creatures called buds, as in flower buds. The goal of the game is to use these four buds to stop a space-faring, garbage-collecting hairdryer called Dyer. Dyer is stealing all of the juice or helis from the world trees and as a sworn protector of these world trees you have to stop him and if the stealing wasn't enough, Dyer is also harassing locals and dumping toxic waste everywhere. The story in Flying is kinda simple but the game is more focused on gameplay. The four creatures you can play with each have their own powers. You can stick to walls, become an immortal bouncing ball, shoot yourself in any direction like a rocket or sing. Singing is used to wake up the inhabitants of the world trees and to collect helis. Those helis can then be used to clear blockades and solve puzzles. You also have to constantly switch between vision modes. Everything you can see, collect or use as a platform depends on which vision mode you're using. It's all a bit more complicated than the classic press A to jump. While all of this might seem a bit overwhelming at first, the game does a great job of explaining everything. If you want to finish flying, you're going to have to use all of your platforming and puzzle skills because believe me, this is not an easy game. You have to react fast and most of the time the real challenge is doing a lot of actions after each other with precision. The puzzles aren't easy either. You'll be dying a lot in this game. This can be frustrating, but at the same time you can really get a rewarding feeling when you finally finish the game. A bit like in Super Meat Boy. There are also loads of secrets hidden all over Flyin. For example, there are extra levels you can unlock by finishing certain levels without dying. I can already tell you that this isn't easy, I haven't succeeded at unlocking a single extra level yet. Now the levels don't just offer a challenge, there's also a lot of variation in them. Each level is different and you never get the feeling that you're playing the same part again. Combine this with the different powers and you get a game where every second feels unique. Flying isn't a short game either. In total I've played it for about 11 hours so far and I've finished all the normal story levels except the last one. However, this is without finding all of the secrets. Those of us who want to unlock everything will have their hands full on this game. The graphical style of Flying can only be described as beautiful. It reminds me of Rayman Origins and also of Loco Rocco, two great platformers. Add a great soundtrack to the mix and you get an audio-visual experience only a few games can compete with. However, it's of course not all sunshine and rainbows. I experienced a few frame drops and I've also been stuck in a level because of a bug checkpoint. I also don't understand why there's no actual number shown when you use the resolution slider. I had to experiment a bit to find the correct resolution. Conclusion: Flying isn't a perfect game, but the problems aren't such a big deal because the game is just so much damn fun. The different creatures, powers and vision modes give this game a lot of variation. The controls in Flying are also very responsive, but I would advise you to use a controller. Platformers like this game just aren't made for a keyboard or a mouse. The entire audio-visual experience is great and a lot of big game studios can learn a thing or two from it. Flying currently costs €9.99, $9.99 or £7.99 on Steam and is, in my humble opinion, worth at least twice that price. Thank you for watching, please subscribe for a new video each Saturday and unscheduled ones during the week.